What's going on, y'all? I'm Drew Anderson, also known as Droopy, founder of Spit That, and I am grateful for, among other things, the right to vote. That being said, I'm not going to tell y'all who to vote for, but I'm going to tell y'all who, who I'm not voting for. If you have, if you don't have a website for your campaign, but you have a WordPress page, I'll rock with the WordPress page, but it's got to be tight. You know what I'm saying? You can't have like a bunch of typos and shit, a bunch of made up words. You can't be running for State Board of Education. Oh, I'm sorry, this is DC. State Board of Education and be on a video on your WordPress page making up words like diversity and inclusivity. Can't do it. Sorry. Um, furthermore, if you are running for city council, among the other couple dozen cats who are running for city council, and the Washington City paper asked you, asked you what you thought about defunding the police, and your response was, I don't even know what that means. Then I ain't voting for your ass. And furthermore, for the presidential piece, if you ran on a campaign of making America great again, and in response, we got 2020, and yes, that is a verb now, then this is for you. So the Donald has saith that this is a country where we speak English, not Spanish. To which I say, English? Oh, cheerio, bloodio, let's speak us some English. Let's talk. Let's talk about some imperialist colonists. Let's talk about the morning breath behind the gunpowder's kiss. Let's get engorged with the words of George III, the king's English. Sweet, pretty English. Sweet, sticky English. Sweet like the Sugar Act. Sticky like the Stamp Act. Quartering Act, Declaratory Act, Townsend Revenue Act, and the Intolerable Acts after you react to the T Act. Act like you know. Speak English like you be waving the Union Jack not knowing jack about the union. Honest English, the king's English, like Richard III, kill your family to claim the kingdom, then offer your kingdom for a horse, because a horse is a horse, of course, of course. Crikey, old chap, let's speak some bloody well proper English, but wait, then Miss Sarah Palin hath saith, if you wanna be American, you should speak American. Now here's the thing, America's often been called the melting pot, right? But if every element in the melting pot has a different melting point, then how does melting Mexican meld with melting wasps? The answer, segregation sauce. Crocomole. Now speak American with me as we go over the recipe. First, give me some of that old time religion, some of that old school Uncle Sam grammar and diction, which mispronounces champion when you cash his his get all Mohammed and refuse to fight in Vietnam and shit. Speak English like Uncle Ben, I mean Dr. Ben Carson, from Hippocratic to hypocritical. The oppressed, so impressed by their oppressor that they become pressed to express their best oppressor impression. Impressive, do the due diligence. Show me the do's and don'ts of our didactic dynamics. Drill me as to the deleterious designs of our delightfully dysfunctional democratic dictatorship. Feed me tasty tidbits of our innocently intended ignorance with a side order of kind of sort of snide on the slide plus tax with interest. Just bust a rhyme for me, you know? Give me some mo. Give me some of that hooked on phonics, hooked on ebonics, <clears throat> hooked on chronic. If you got green and you clean, if you white, you all right. If you brown, sit down. If you black, get back. Woo-ha! I got you all in check. And then when it get real good to you, not church, I want you to give me some of that real raw root American. Now I'm talking about shouting. Give me some chop tall Chippewa, huh? Give me some small pox in my linen drawer, nah? Whatever you do now, nah. I say whatever you do now, nah. don't go speaking no Spanish. I say don't go speaking no Spanish. Who do you think you are? Columbus? Who taught you how to play Space Invaders in the first place? Qual es mi nombre? Don't go hobbling in no Espanol, because that would be un-American, like King Carlos III and Bernardo de Galvez and the rest of them 18th century Hispanics in Louisiana and Havana and Venezuela and Nicaragua. You know our Revolutionary War compadres, I mean companions who helped America become America. 
Don't they? It's the La Bibli Oteca. Y'all must have forgot. And we do for a reboot. So let us reinstitute. Let's be reintroduced to the righteous rhetoric of our religious racism, seduced by the symbolic syllables filling in the symphonic synonyms of our succulent sexism. Reteach me the P's and Q's that patronize queens and provoke quiet suicides in the pure quintessence of our patriarchal queer phobia. To the humor of our hubris, homie, make me laugh, crack a joke, cracker, I mean joker, I mean master, I mean mister, I mean nigga, I mean brother, I mean motherfucker. You see, I never get too tongue tied to tongue kiss my native tongue. I could go corporate or I could go dumb. I speak king or I could speak slave. I can kick it in bitch a capitalist, not a damn show kick it in minimum wage. So test my steez and see me sco like it was still folks going seven years ago. Hold up, wait a minute, was that un-American? Well, how so? When the best thing going is still pimping and hoeing, and we still the best at both. See, we the best. All we do is win. W I N. Wallow in negativity. Cause every time we step up in the building, everybody happens go up. And they stay there from George III to George Washington. And they stay there from George Bush to George Bush. And they stay there from Geronimo to Guantanamo. And they stay there from Boston Massacre to Boston Marathon. And they stay there from Kennedy to Katrina. And they stay there from Tuskegee to Trayvon. And they stay there from give me liberty or give me death to give me the loot, give me the loot. And they stay there from strange fruit to hands up, don't shoot. And they stay there. From Navajo to Alamo to Sandra Bland to G.I. Joe. From Franklin Roosevelt to Frank Nitty to Frank White. From Fred Hampton to Freddie Gray to Fetty Wap. From the founding fathers to the sons and daughters who can't find their fathers. From building bridges to building walls. From indentured servants to Japanese internment. From taxation without representation to reparations. From invasion to anti-immigration. From manifest destiny to NIMBY. From the escapists to the elitists. From the Tea Party to the Tea Party. But that's none of my business. From sea to shining sea. My country tis of thee. A history of hypocrisy. Land of the free, built on slavery, world police with the worst police in the world. Xenophobic inclusionist, tolerant tyrant, neo Zionist, secretly alive with ISIS. You see, to speak American is to speak with diction, benediction, contradiction. They say even a broken clock is right twice a day, but the second, the minute hand catches up to ours, we change faces and claim that times have changed. Flavor, flame. To speak American is to wonder out loud whether you become Captain America or Thanos. Never knowing. You're both. You hold some ideas frozen so many years that you keep coming back, attempting to avenge yourself through reinvention, only to destroy the world in the name of saving it because you never figured out the difference. So the next time some Sarah Palin or any other Masquerading Bama comes acclaiming some oversimplified explanation as to the patriotic impurity of our proudly politically incorrect potty mouths who tell them. Tell them that theirs ain't the only forked tongue that keeps a beef tip as if it's a sweet secret. Tell them how the hate that hate made could make hate, hate, hate. Speak American. America, please. Even your worstest students are most certainly fluent speakers of American ease. And with that, I would like to express my gratitude and hand it off to my partner, Dwayne Lawson Brown, a.k.a. Dwayne B. the Crochet Kingpin. Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. Yo, I am I am incredibly grateful, one, for Drew sharing that, um, especially at this time of, like, bubbling anxiety and fear and being like, yo, how the fuck is this going to work out? <laughs> um, but um, so it's it feels good to know that other people are thinking about all of this and feeling all this, even as we ourselves are uh, processing and trying to, you know, feel good and vibe out um, at, in preparation for everything that is life. <laughs> um, you dig? Um, word. So yeah, a um, couple of things to make sure that we have a good time. If you're wherever you are in the world, say good time. I know, right? Wherever you are, you just did it. I saw some people you know, on the screens doing it. So yeah, a um, couple of things to cover. Um, we are both on the Zoom in the Zoom room. Shout out to the Zoom room folks, um, as well as here on the Facebook. And I'm in the Facebook chat uh, going up and having a good time in there too. So if you're on Facebook, feel free to chat with me. You dig? Open up the chat. Bill, let's hang out in there. Um, Another thing, if you are in the Zoom room and you are interested in sharing, feel free to uh, sign in on the open mic. We are 
going to drop the link for the open mic into the chat. Um, I see a couple of po performers and poets in the Zoom room who haven't signed up on the open mic. So if y'all interested, feel free to uh, hop in there and get on. Um, so yeah, uh, thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for being present. I am grateful for each and every one of you taking a moment of time to join us tonight. Um, and I will share a piece about a person who I am very, very grateful for. Um, <laughs> B Doug is so silly. Um, a person that's very that I'm very grateful for. Um, who, with all of the headaches, he also brings a whole lot of joy. And so this piece is called Darius Asks. When my son gets older, I hope he asks me, what makes you happy? What's your favorite movie, Bible scripture, prayer? Do you still believe? When was your last date? Do you still dance? How do I talk to girls or boys? or whoever, did that work with mommy? How's your dad? What did you think about on weekends? Who's better, Mario or Nightcrawler? Why do you play video games so much? What are you trying to escape? Why aren't you and mommy together? Did you try harder? What does a broken man look like? What does love look like? Does it whisper across the floor or are those just rumors? Will you ever get married? Why do you work so hard? Do you drink liquor? What's your favorite beer? Who do you trust? Is orange still your favorite color? What's your biggest regret? When was the last time you changed your mind? Tell me something sweet. What's your favorite place on earth? What's the craziest thing you survived, dad? Did you ever attempt suicide? What stitched together your wrist, unpacked the bullet, pumped your stomach? Where am I in the grand scheme? Dad, are you proud of me? I will look him right in his eyes and say you are the sum of all of the good things I could never do with all the good deeds I've wished for others. You are a karma for the world, a grand comeuppance. Words aren't world enough. Words can't claim enough to say what you mean. Darius, I love you. Word, Whew. feelings, 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 feelings. Um, word, I'm looking at some of the chat. Drew, <laughs> Drew said, craziest thing uh, he survived might've been this year. That's kind of real. Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna talk about the mountain lion situation. Um, yo, so we have at least two people on the open mic. Um, Cause I saw two incredible artists uh, whose names were on there. I'm going back into there to see if there's anybody else that's been added. Okay, so if you are interested, do not hesitate. Feel free to mosey on over and, uh, and sign the open mic list. But right now, I am bringing up one of the most consistent, uh, both like as a parent and as a spitter, as a host, as just a, a cat that does his thing, uh, both around DC and abroad. I need y'all to show some love right now for my main man, Brandon Douglas. That's my mayor. That's my What mayor. it do, baby? What it do? Oh, you know, just drugs. Um, what's up, though? <laughs> Um, I'm trying to find this uh this jump. Um I uh man, I don't know why I'd be so confused when I'd be having to talk to people, but I, it's probably anxiety. But it's okay. Um <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, that's the thing I said. Um dang. I um I am grateful uh for black women, cause, um, cause black women are uh, the foundation of my life. Um, they have, uh, have they have saved me and, and, and nurtured me in, in ways that I um, that I am forever uh, indebted to. Um, okay. Why is this taking so long? I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, um, also, pause. Uh, where is it? 
Okay. Um, I'm trying not to panic uh, and, and just focus and find this poem. This is a very specific poem I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, follow um, me uh, on Instagram, um, Doug Life 202 uh, Doug as in Doug Funny, life is the thing you um, are experiencing currently, if you can hear my voice, and 202 uh, as in where I'm from. Um, I, okay. Uh, where is it? Okay, I, I, well, I organized it a little bit. Okay, let's just do this. this thing. You know what? I am going to do something else. Um, I, uh, I'm just gonna do this one. <laughs> um, nah, yeah, 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 I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this one. Um, this is a a, a hand. This is called hands on training for self love. Um, it's gonna be hilarious when I finish. Um, this is a very serious poem. Um, I learned to love myself at an early age. It was exciting. I, uh, those magazine pictures made me want to do things that I was too young to know that I wasn't ready for, but my hormones were way too charismatic to resist. So one day I made a fortress out of the bathroom. Nothing was going to stop me from loving myself. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. No one ever talked about it, not in a way that wasn't a joke, not in a way that stamped approval. Despite how I may be seen, if people discovered the truth, I love myself that one day, then again the next, and the next, and again for the next 362 days. I love me hard. I learned so many names and new places to, to help me love myself. However, after loving myself for so long, love eventually ran empty, and I felt stupid for depending on it. I wish that I didn't have to love myself but I had no one else. And since no one offered me a hand, I offered it to myself. That is that poem. I really wish I could find that other one because I really wanted to do it. Um, but yeah, um, if y'all got time later, uh, I would I would like the opportunity, but no pressure. I just only, I'm only, I'm only offering it right now because you said it's like two, three people. So yeah. Um, I'm a I'm a mute myself because I don't know how to transition out of this. Word word, yo, show some love right now for B Doug. Shout out to self love. Uh, I <laughs> I support these things fully. <laughs> yo, um, and let's definitely we'll. I'm pretty sure we'll have some space on the back. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure we'll have some space on the back end for you to come back and share with us, B Dub. Yo, if y'all weren't here for the sexual innuendo uh, notice, yeah, y'all missed out. Um, so we're going to keep this show going. Um, I saw a name uh, come up on the list that I haven't seen on an open mic list in quite some time. Um, and if this is who I believe uh, this is, um, amazing uh, poet, singer, songwriter, um, as well as uh, a healer who um, uh, brought me some like bath bombs and like like teas and stuff to support during the, the, the beginning of the outbreak and like just good, good cat. So I need y'all to show some love right now. Bang your hands together wherever you are in the world and show some love for Tierra B. Oh my gosh, hi guys. It's so nice to see you guys' beautiful faces. I hope you'll be like a little bit patient with me because I literally was like, I'm like moving, like literally I'm like moving in a week, you guys. I'm like packing my shit and my room is in shambles, but it's okay because I got, I got my ax. Oh, 
I got my whole guitar and um, I'm gonna, oh, ow. All right, we're in this bitch. All right, hold on, I got soup. I was eating soup and then I was playing Hades and now I'm here. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I know I'm like, I have a little bit of chaotic energy going on right now. Um, I'm gonna do a cover song. I have actually been writing, but to be honest with you guys, I haven't finished writing a song in probably like, probably a couple of years. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting into my new space because my life will be so much less chaotic that I can actually, um, like finished projects because I'll be like more focused. So without further ado, I'm gonna play a cover song for you guys. Pull up my sheet music. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? All right, bet. You, you try to lie. I can see. Hold on, I think my guitar's out of tune. Drowning for you, you're 
the road while you're watching me moan. Holding out like you could pull me down. Cause I'm drowning for ya. Cause I'm drowning for ya. Ooh. I'm drowning for ya. Can you follow me out to the water? I can show you a sinking deeper. Let me know. Cause I'm drowning for ya. Can you follow me up to the water? I can show you a sinking deeper. Let me know. Cause I'm drowning for ya. Can you follow me up to the water? I can show you a sinking deeper. Let me know. Cause I'm drowning for ya. Can you follow me up to the water? I can show you a sinking deeper. Let me know. Can you follow me out to the water? I can show you a sinking deeper. Let me know. Okay, I'm done. Um, thanks for listening. And uh, you guys look great. You guys are beautiful. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> righteousness much love and welcome home to the one called Tierra. ain't seen you in quite some time I remember you used to come through and rock quite a bit and it's good to see you again I mean I feel like it's been years since I saw you yeah it's my life has been pretty crazy lately so there's a reason for that but I miss and love you guys so much and I'm really happy to be here and see your beautiful faces Big crack, true that. Uh, Tiara in the house, much love, much respect. Thanks for rocking with us. Yes, yes. Uh, all right. With that said, I think it's time for our first feature. Would you be in agreement, Dwayne? Why, why, yes, I am. I agree. Good Fantastically story. well. All right. So with that said, I'm about to bring up our first feature of the evening. All right. One thing for my from people who are new to spit that we have this tradition. Whenever we have a feature, we sign a card for them so that they will always be able to keep it and have the words and thoughts and feelings and ideas of the people who they rocked with so they can always remember that experience. Since we're doing this virtually, we have a digital card. So at some point in Piero's feature, we're gonna drop a link where you can hit it and type in some encouraging words, some just what his feature did for you spiritually what it meant for you, just something that he could keep, right? And we're gonna do the same thing for our second feature, Soul Like Soul. So make sure that you write the right stuff for the right card, but we'll hook you up with all that stuff. All right, with that said, Piero Sarmiento, also known as Keep It PG, is a multilingual published author from Peru who currently lives and works in the nation's capital. Piero has been writing poetry since an early age, but never dared to perform due to his fear of public speaking until he moved to DC where he began to face his phobias by going to open mic venues on a daily basis. Nowadays, he's an active writer, medical interpreter and freelance journalist who has performed spoken word all over the East Coast in theaters, bars and consulates. His interactive poetry is meant to inspire, heal and bring awareness about Latin American culture. Recently, he and his father started their own news channel on YouTube called Naughty Piero, which is meant to report alternative and unbiased news with a humorous touch while learning from people that they interview. So you could check that out, www, matter of fact, I'm just putting it in the chat. Um, but yeah, I will put it in the chat, but I will also say, I believe I met Piero when I was hosting the Bus Boys and Poets event. And this dude just came through with so much energy and positivity and just, Every time he performed, he seemed like he was meant to be there. Like he got life out of being on stage and he shared that life with his audience. And I think that's something that y'all are going to experience even through this virtual space when this brother comes up and rocks for us right now. So 
much love I always am so proud of this brother just to see him continue to grow and build and make new moves like this this journalism channel that he's got cracking this new channel he's got and I think he's going to give us his own version of the artistic news right now when we bring up our first feature of the evening keep it pg aka piero sarmiento let's go hey what's going on everybody can you hear me can everybody hear me loud and clear all right let's get this started so for all of those who've never heard me spit before like droop said i'm trying to inspire, inspire myself and see if what comes out of my mouth resonates with anybody in the audience. Um, my poetry are, is pretty much mantras, mantras that I say to myself every single morning when I wake up and I feel maybe uh, like I'm not in my top notch level. I say these verses to myself so I can rewire my brain and be more productive and have a more optimistic, uplifting attitude throughout the day. So I'm going to do three to four short pieces related to the concept of gratitude and talk about the people and uh, situations around me that I'm grateful for uh, up to this point in my life. The first poem is called, Everything is Going to Be All Right. There's plenty of reasons to magnify and amplify the magnitude of our own life problems to the point of becoming identified and deeply immersed into negativity. A poisonous acidity that can easily percolate into different ramifications of our own short life if we're easily caught off guard. And this is mainly because being a pessimist does not take much of an effort, ladies and gentlemen. What is wrong is always going to be ubiquitously available for us to label into certain sort of short-sighted detrimental fable, which in the moment, it might seem like the right thing to do. Don't get me wrong. We have all been there before, but in retrospective, it's just fatal for the soul to be draining itself out of its vitality and sense of morality and anything else that deviates us from savor in this delightful roller coaster ride that we all so call life. Because there is uniqueness in our own existence, just like there is hidden blissfulness, disguised as sickness, setbacks, and failures. Because sometimes all of this are meant to happen, to thicken our skin and test our resilience. Because life doesn't happen our own pace nor convenience, regardless of how predetermined, pre-calculated, premeditated we might want it to be. Shit happens. And it's just a matter of how we react to unpredictability, positivity, or negativity. Only one of these has the proclivity to launch you into divinity. As long as we don't force the flow of life with reckless compulsivity, I assure you that the universe will caress our soul and treat us nicely. So let's not worry and choose wisely because everything is going to be I. Thank you. That's the first piece right there. <laughs> ah. All right, all right. Uh, so that's the first one. And yeah, um, so I, pre I just recently started doing this journalist journey with my father. We've been creating a YouTube channel lately called Notipiero. We have our own website. We have um, different episodes that report on an array of different topics try to make it as educational, entertaining as possible. And in the meantime, we narrate the episodes in Spanish and English. That way people who wanna brush up in their Spanish can learn Spanish because it's in subtitles. People who from other parts of the world who speak Spanish, they can learn English as well. So check it out, Noti Piero. Uh, I'll write it down in the little chat so you can look it up if you wish. If you wanna subscribe, it'll mean the world trying to monetize it in the next couple of months so subscribe if you want to support the next piece is called my mother so my mother is somebody who's going through a lot of stuff me and my mom we moved uh to dc uh out of nowhere um just we were living in miami we were just trying to transition and we took a leap of faith it's just the two of us in uh little Toyota, we drove 17 hours here and it's, it's most snowy season ever in DC. It's the first time I ever got to see snow. And we, when we moved here, we, we uh, 
we went through a lot of hurdles and um, eventually we came about to where we are. And uh, I do not regret anything that happened on the way and it's made us stronger. And that's something that I, someone that I really appreciate in my life are my parents and the fact that they're healthy. Um, that's something that I'm, the, the first thing I wanna mention that I'm uh, grateful for tonight. You know, since the topic is about gratitude, I wanna talk about my parents, especially my mom. So this poem is called, My Mother. Can you hear the piano there? <laughs> Yeah, let me see if I can play this. My mother, she fell three times and rose back up a thousand more. To my dismay, I can still vividly remember that gloomy ass day when she frantically mentioned her diagnostic burdens with offbeat cardi cardiac contractions and pale shivering reactions. Her name was cancer. And she threw the first punch. She had been lingering in her genetics for a while, waiting assiduously for my mom's guard to falter. Senseless, tasteless, merciless, she had no compassion on her scalp, her bones, or sense of vanity. However, she forgot to snatch away her undying smile, corrode her sanity. While the oncologist looked the other way at the sight of adversity, my mother stared directly into the reaper's eyes and put him down with an audacious gaze to make him relish a little bit of all his own medicinal taste. Death himself walked away crying profusely, seeking for his next victim down the hall, waiting assiduously for them to stumble and fall. A year later, their second pandemonium struck her down. Her name was knee fracture. However, she, um, she fell to pin her down to the floor because my mom's untainted heart resisted the bashing gravity. As she lifted herself up on her robust, well-planted feet, proceeding to dance the pain away to the, to the beat of her Latin Roman Catholic choir, she danced among incendiary flames with irascible fire, danced even when the world around her was crumbling apart, danced even when her dreams were drifting away. She, she kept on dancing even when her crippled limbs were going astray. Just a couple of years ago, my mother broke her fibula in an unprecedented accident. But this time she smiled, paid no heed, and got right back up. No tears were dropped about the unpredictable odds. No any grudges were held against her unforgiving God who had been testing her undying optimism with a karmic cynicism regardless of all the hurdles along the way. My mother still held her head up high kissed the ground and prayed. She prayed until the saliva from her mouth was completely drained. She prayed as she opened her arms in a cross shed way. And to my dismay, once again, she got back up on the seventh day. That's my mother right there. 
<laughs> I think she's in the Zoom right now, so I dedicate this piece to her. Um, I don't know how much longer I have, but I'm gonna do two short ones and then that's about it. Uh, the next one is called Fuck Corona. <laughs> I, I just, uh, I did this during the pandemic. I wrote this piece because I noticed that instead of us as humans, instead of maybe getting into silly fights for no reason whatsoever during these stressful times, why don't we uplift and support each other emotionally? Instead of ignoring and ghosting each other, why don't we just reach out to each other more often? You know, it's, um, because I feel like during this time, this is when we need the most uh, from each other. I mean, maybe not physically, we cannot have that face-to-face uh, -face interaction, but with a phone call, with a text message, it does make a difference. So I wrote this piece called Fuck COVID. It's like one minute long. Uh, the world as we know it will never be the same. Systems are changing, industries are collapsing, countries are being tested, the leaders and institutions in, we, in which we bested our genuine trust are finally unmasking their real face value, including our own. So this is no time to be fighting or inciting altercations amongst ourselves or neighboring nations. This is no time to be demonizing or stigmatizing each other because this time right here, right now, it's quintessential to re radiating that radical solidarity amongst one another. So please don't look away on those who you probably never wanted or take it for granted. Do not ignore the phone calls from those that you probably never really care about nor prefer to be to have in your life or ever wanted. And I'm not much of a platonic romantic, but I do believe that if we indeed want to come out of this stronger than ever, we need to be cohesively in love together. Thank you. It's something like that. <laughs> something like that. Uh, I forgot a couple of lines, but it's something like that. <laughs> and this last, um, this last piece of the day, um, before I recite this last short piece, I want to give thanks to Droopy the Broke Bowler, to Dwayne the Crochet Kingpin. Thank you so much for hitting me up so suddenly out of nowhere to allow me to have this space and, and share, share some emotions, share, share some thoughts. I actually haven't perform at open mic in quite some time. I think maybe it's been over two months. So um, this is a really great opportunity to heal and, and interact with other fellow artists too who might be going through something similar. The last piece I have, I wrote it this morning. It's just a question that I asked myself um, yesterday when I woke up. I was feeling a little bit down and I wrote this in a journal and I decided to share it with you all. When was the last time that you were unconditionally, unconditionally in love with yourself? Seriously speaking though, when was the last time that you were unapologetically in love with the mystical beauty that lies within you, pumping blood into your heart, oxygen into your brain, and inspiration into your fiery fingertips, fueling creativity on every extremity of your being? When was the last time that you were passionate living in this present perfection, profoundly in tune in the moment, like there's no tomorrow, so incessantly in the now, like there's no time to dwell on yesterday's sorrow. When is going to be the last time that we're all going to be asking ourselves these sort of questions and start feeling utterly grateful for the life that we already have? That's it for tonight. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yes. Show some love for Piero. Keep it PG. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So uh, things that are important. Um, Drew mentioned it before, and it is there in the chat right now. And I believe it's going to slide over into the Facebook chat as well. Um, there is a card that you can sign with all kinds of like, you put the good energy into there, right? I mean, it's a Google doc uh, form. So you click that joint, 
sign that joint for Piero, uh, keep it PG, right? Um, you want to show that love because cats hold on to these things for the rest of their lives, like for real, for real. Um, you can also uh, show some love financially by hitting the cash app, and that's dollar sign P I E R O 2 1. So definitely uh, holla, 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 and support in both of those ways. Um, also, feel free to check out uh, the website and social media, Nati Piero. Uh, that's N O T I P I E R O. Um, um, on Instagram and Twitter, and then Nazi Piero News on YouTube. Um, so definitely, definitely check out and support these folks. This is how we do it. And I see it going off over there in the Facebook chat. Look at y'all. Fantastic. It's beautiful things. All right. So um, we have two more artists on the open mic list. So I'm excited. I'm hype. I, I'm glad that this is happening. Um, Cause this artist right here that's coming to the stage is another who I've had the pleasure of seeing rock on a few uh, Facebook uh, events. I mean, not Facebook. Was it? Uh, it might be Instagram uh, events as of recent uh, times. Um, but it's. And I'm just glad anytime that uh, she is rocking a mic, grabbing a mic, and performing. Um, Cause I know some of the story, and so I'm excited to welcome back to our stage, Kimberly J. So I'm trying to get this camera to work. Okay, camera's working. All right. Bless up, bless up. I know, right? You know you gave me my first feature. I don't even know if you realize that. Uh, wow, you gave wow. me my first feature at 5th and K many, many moons ago. So, you know, I always got to come out and show love when I have the opportunity because y'all have always been good people to me. All right. So um, this is uh, very new. So um, any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Just had it up and I just lost it that quickly. But yeah, so this is very new. Um, Some of y'all may not be aware, but I, I suffered a stroke uh, almost two years now, about a year and a half ago. And my whole ability to write changed. So this is something that um, I wrote, like I said, relatively recently. And so any feedback would be wonderful. All right. I stitched together faith with broken shards of glass thread with cord made from used plastic bullets left over from the protest, this skin breathes in tear gas, breathes out grenade deeper, shredded clumps of dead black faith go missing, sucking chest wound, air bypasses lungs, creeps instead through the open gashes, this America, suckles razor tit, Chews bones, sacrifice, spits out the remains, fashions itself into American dreams, I self-treat on killing fields. Squeeze drops of black blood from dying grass into my throat. Listen to the sharpened edges of my skin crust over. Must block out the horror of the fallen dead. Black and brown bodies haphazardly stacked to fit into this American fairy tale. Prop up the legacies. This militia takes no prisoners, just trophies. Just space cover miles with Maj Paj faith and comfort a child's belief in American superheroes instead. A stitch, slice fingertips. Blood stains the cord, my eyes cannot close, cannot stop the replay I wish for blindness. Pray over war-torn red-lined land instead, swollen sun and brown skin clay stomped across black and brown bodies, my faith shrivels into a mustard seed, dead zoned. I make up for the inhabitable spaces with swaths of contempt, tilt my head away, watch my veins throb in the reflections of edges of broken glass still. I continue to stitch, hum revolution in breath that escapes my chest through the spaces meant for faith could not heal, mourn adulthood, question salvation, disbelief in miracles. I continue to stitch, shards of glass, slice, reveal new identities, rebel, leave me to the battlefields. This war cannot be stopped. Just tattoo bandages over me, nest in the trenches, rewrite fairy tales and tragic truths and iron tears. Remember the smoke, 
Remember the bullets that weren't plastic nestled into the fallen humans, into mausoleums and jail cells. I no longer body collapsing in on itself. Faith is not enough. It's a whole illusion of American melting pots instead. Start in the glass, sip, slice open, sliced lips, scream, battle cry, rewrite the narrative, rebel. And that's the end of it. Peace. Yes. All of it. Um, I want to read some of what so folks have been saying in the Facebook chat um, while you were sharing. Um, Miss Lauda said dynamic. Um, Kimberly is writing, writing, y'all. Um, and then uh, Ch there was uh, Chelsea. Uh, Followed it up. Uh, thought it was fire, especially the the delivery. Um, so yeah, like know that folks are vibing with you, and yeah, like you you man, yeah, you got it. <laughs> um, and we're and we're glad that you you have recovered, um, and that you're rocking. Hold on, there's more chat happening in in the in the Zoom chat. Um, go off, sis. Righteous. Uh, so powerful, beautiful. Um. Hold on, there was another comment a little bit. Uh, Drew says, so glad to know that you recovered. I'm sure your experience is giving you, giving your writing even more power. Um, so yeah, like you, you, thank you. Thank you for, for rocking with us. Thank you for having me. Like, I really do appreciate y'all, I really do. Indeed, indeed. Yo, I'm feeling energized. I'm all excited now. Today was a long day and now like, you know, Maybe it's the maybe it's the good vibes. Maybe it's the pineapple Fanta. I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling real good. Um, and I'm feeling like this next artist who we're about to bring back to the stage is gonna be feeling real good too. I need y'all to show some love right now for Brandon Douglas. Hey y'all. Um, oh, I'm used to that. I'm eating a taco. Um, I found the poem. There was a, uh, I went to a, um, I went on a, a, a artist exchange, in South Africa, and um, I was really excited about this view. Um, cause, cause first, like my homie was like, "Hey man, you gotta go see this jump, man. It's called God's Window, and it's the best view in the world. Oh my God!" And I'm like, "This nigga sizing, all right, whatever." And then I got there, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> you wasn't sizing." And um, it inspired this poem. Um, it's pretty short. I'm gonna read it. And I'm gonna get out your way. Uh, the first time, oh yeah, so like that's what God's window is. Like, I'm not like talking about like in heaven because I ain't die no shit like that. Um, all right. Uh, the first time I looked into God's window, I could only see how far down the fall was. Like, damn, I would die so hard. Like, I swear my heart would jump ship before the impact. Like, the bottom being invisible brings out the coward in me dampens the power in me to be hero, to be optimistic, which is, which is sometimes the same. In that instance, I was able to convert the moment into a metaphor for how my perspective works. The idea of the fall made me forget how beautiful the sky was. Fear made me forget about how blessed I was to even exist in that moment. Fear be amnesia in the midst of my wildest dreams. I'm learning to look up more. Yes, that's that jump. Um, swag, swag, swag. Word, word, word. Show some more love for my main man, B. Doug. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Um, my man was definitely, uh, definitely, sharing about that South Africa experience. And I'm sitting here desperately wishing. <laughs> Go and make it happen though. Go and make it happen. Um, so we have, let, I need to check the open mic list real quick. 
All right, boom. Um, we have one more artist returning back to the open, Mike. Um, she brought the great guitar energy and the singing energy up before, and she's going to bring that energy back. Please show some love right now for Tierra. Thanks for letting me go again. I was like rushing last time. So I want to like do an actual good time. Good job this time for you guys. All right. All right. I, our feature, um, he was telling a lot about his life and I was inspired by his Latin energy. So I'm going to try to sing the song in Spanish and I'm sorry in advance if I butcher the pronunciation. All right. <clears throat> Turn my heater off. That's good. Okay, bye. Woo! 
We love you too. Show some more love for Tierra, y'all. Show some love in these various chat apps that are happening right now. <laughs> um, this is our friendly reminder. Um, if you are on social medias and things of that nature, feel free to follow at Wooly Mammoth TC um, on Instagram. Um, and then if you're in the Facebook chat, just go ahead and hit that follow button uh, so that you know when we go live with Wooly uh, in the future in the Facebook chat joint joint. Um, you can also follow us at Spit That DC um, on our various socials. Um, but that's my shameless promo moment before introducing our next feature. Um, this is somebody who I've had the pleasure of uh, witnessing and vibing with um, artistically uh, as she's like grown from like college student to like art curator, um, event host, uh, traveling musician, got music on Spotify and Tidal, I imagine, and all the other stuffs, um, all of your streaming devices. Um, I remember when Soul, before going by Soul, um, held an event at Montgomery College, uh, organized th this uh, Black History Month event at uh, Montgomery Community College. That was just super dope and full of great vibes. And I knew from then on, like, this is somebody who's going to be the one to watch, to know who to see and like follow and grow with. Um, and that has been the case. Um, so not only released a project um, in the, uh, in what was that, was that last year? Um, but then also released a very uh, spooky special uh, over the weekend uh, by the name of A Spooky Soul Set, um, you know, ass. So yeah, um, pull up. It was a great, great vibe. Um, and y'all are about to experience a great, great vibe right now. Uh, because Soul Like Soul is one of those artists that uh, once you get to know, you will always want to know. And so things that should happen. Um, the social medias are going to get dropped into the various chats as well as the card. Um, so definitely uh, feel free to... Uh, you know, drop some some money and some dough into the Cash App. Feel free to uh, follow and then definitely sign that card. But right now, tune your ears, get ready, and show some love for Soul Like Soul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of the nice words. Ugh. I remember putting that show together my first two people I thought of for booking that show were you and Drew because y'all impacted me so much even back then even well in high school really when I was doing poetry um and got introduced to spit that and like basically found my home so I'm eternally grateful to both the offer creating a space that allowed me to grow into the artist that I am today Gosh, was that a, was, were those tears coming? No. Anywho, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just so grateful for Smith that. Um, this feels like a very full circle moment. So in the theme of gratitude, I wanna do this piece that I wrote in 2016 which I thought was going to be the worst year of my life. And then 2020 came and was like, ha ha ha. <laughs> but you thought, um, and not all bad because I've definitely um, been blessed a lot this year as well and been able to move into a different version of myself that I was not. I didn't foresee when I wrote this piece. Um, yeah, so this is that. If suicide wasn't a sin, I wouldn't still be here. I had a dream I died, no one noticed. 
I sat and watched time pass as my body decayed. The world never paused, not one second was altered. I walked around the city, whispering in the ears of loved ones I thought loved me. Those who said they would care, those who proved before they cared, and no one seemed to hear me. But this one, this was nothing new. No one ever really heard me unless I was singing, as if the unsung words that came out of my mouth weren't as beautiful, as if they deserved interruption and disregard. No one ever criticized my music, but everyone always had something to say about what I had to say. Has anyone ever truly listened? I pray you catch me whispering. I pray you catch you listening. I pray you catch me whispering. I pray you catch me whispering. I don't speak softly because I'm soft-spoken. I speak softly because I want you to listen. Stretch your ears and catch me whispering. I pray you catch me. Cause I'm falling and my words seem to be falling with me, falling flat on the ground before my whispers for help reach your ears. I've never been one to ask for assistance. I came with a parachute hoping it would save my words before it saved me. Maybe then someone would listen. How much of you have, I, how much of me have I let you all consume? You've taken without looking, you've taken without listening. You've taken without noticing that there was nothing much to grab, just broken fragments that do more harm than good. Maybe it's, maybe it's a cause for concern and I'm not at ease. I tried to pick up my own pieces and somehow they only seemed to cut me and break me apart some more, tear me apart some more. They showed up to my funeral and whispered, here lies the light who gave more than she ever gave herself as if they actually believed it. The only reason they noticed my death was my absence in your time of need. I wasn't there to listen. I pray you catch me whispering. I pray I catch you listening. I pray you catch me whispering. I pray you catch me, cause I'm not at ease. And that is that um yeah so i'm like grateful to not feel that way any anymore or like even try to like understand why people you know aren't listening like that's not my problem like my job is to make sure that i am vocal and that i express myself and i try to uh, move in that way um and all and all of the things that i do um let's see let's see let's see okay i'm gonna do some new stuff uh i'm gonna do the song that's produced by my best friend who i'm also grateful for um Called questions. One of these days, I'll run right into you. One of these days, you'll.
produced by Mo Butler at Mo Studies. It's like they do everything. So like just follow them and support them. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep it moving. Uh, let's do some old, old stuff. I don't perform this song a lot, but I wrote this song about my mom. And it's called Free, and it's on all streaming platforms. platforms because I completely just blinked on the next verse and that happens because you write songs and then you're like oh, I'll remember my lyrics I don't have to rehearse wrong wrong <laughs> um but then there's like songs like that you just can't get out your head like this one and it's called solace and I wrote this kind of like as a call to action for the people around me to listen for the different ways that I ask for support. Always a simple task. Cause y'all don't always listen. You don't notice the pain till my eyes listen. So now I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve, asking for you to be here with me and help me heal. So I need your support, come out, have fun, and stay with me. I need your support, you fool, laugh loud, and lay with me. I need your support, come out, have fun, and stay with me. I need your support. 
support this hard rock fest away with me. I need the support, support, support. I need the support, support, support. I need the support. I need the support. I need the support, support, support. That is solace. It makes me miss performing in front of, uh, uh um, like my boss likes to say, analog <laughs> audience, because like I love splitting the room up and being able to give, you know, one side a beat and another side a, mel a melody um, for that song. But I have a little bit more time left, so I'm gonna do um some new stuff this is not going to come out until next year like around february but i just enjoy performing it and uh, i know Dwayne is going to be happy about it too <laughs> i get a little loud so i'm gonna <laughs> That's called Love or Lust. It's gonna drop sometime around Valentine's Day. Um, 
and that's that's my set everyone my social media and things are in the chat but if you're streaming this and can't see this on facebook you can follow me at so like soul s-o-l-l-i-k-e-s-o-u-l i want to thank the spit that family Dwayne and Jerupi for having me and giving me another opportunity to feature. Um, thank you to Willie Mammoth. And of course, shout out to my co-feature, Piero. You were so great. I'm always blessed to share the stage with you. And I'm really happy I got to see you perform today too. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all, this was, yes. This was what was necessary. Um, show some love for soul like soul, y'all. I know, like, you know, this would be the moment where you can hear people clapping and whatnot, but folks are even turning their cameras on to, so you can see the applause happening. You dig? Um, there's, there's, man, yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I am full of gratitude. Drew, what's, what's popping? No, continue. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh yeah, no, oh, well, I mean, I'm 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 so full of like gratitude and 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 good feelings and good vibes. Um between like the poetry that's been shared tonight, between the people who've like who took the time to be with us and then chose to share um on the open mic to our two incredible features who share both poetry and stories and their vulnerability with us and the, the vocal stylings of soul. Uh, like, it's just been, it's been, this has been fantastic. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, that performance put the heel in healthy. I mean, it's just what we need going into the uncertainty of tomorrow and the, the months to come. And it was just the vulnerability, the, the content, the way it sounded, the way it felt, just all the above. It was, it was righteous. It was the perfect two features for Spit Grat. And so we are, we have grat gratitude, perhaps, <laughs> for y'all. But that was the righteousness. It was everything. It was just what was needed and wanted. So thank y'all both. And yes, yeah, so that all of the above, all of that, all of that. All of that um, to tell y'all on for those who don't know, I, it's a whole lot of spit that fam on here who've been rocking throughout the years. But for those who might not know, Thursday nights I host the freaking spit that speakeasy. It is a IG live event. However, this Thursday we might just not be doing it because we know our limits. And Dwayne and I have tech rehearsals for something that we want all y'all to be a part of from Gumble to Mumble. You may have seen a little ad for it when they were showing the video earlier. And we had, we are in tech rehearsal for that Friday because, not Friday, Thursday, because it starts on November 13th. And if you just go to Keegan Theater's website, you can see all the different dates and how to get tickets and all that jazz. But from Gumble to Mumble, two-man show, award-winning, Helen Hayes nominated, boom, myself, Dwayne Lawson Brown, two-man show, poetry, comedy, parody, drama. And we're very proud of it. And, and even if you've already seen it, it's going to be very different. It's wild different. <laughs> it's like there's there's like ex things that are happening that I can't talk about quite yet. But yeah, fuck with it. It is thoroughly fuck withable. Um, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, you don't have to be in D.C. You're, we're streaming it live for safety. Around the world. Course, but we're taking advantage of the situation and going super high tech, go, go gadget, George Jetson with it. And it's flying. It's, we're very proud of it. So might not be doing the open mic this Thursday night because Bamas will be tired. Our rehearsal runs through the time that spit that is actually usually goes. So Indeed. other Thursdays, follow us, spit that DC on IG and find out about that. You dig? Also, make sure that you sign the cards for our features. Um, sign the card for Piero, Keep It PG, as well as Soul Like Soul. Um, they have been circulating through the uh, through the chat, um, as well as the Facebook chat. Uh, Facebook, I'm sorry, my phone died. So like, I'm having a hard time like going between the two and chatting, but 
I love y'all. Y'all were lit over there in Facebook today. I saw y'all. It was, it was y'all. I see y'all. I know what's going on. Um, so yeah. And uh, I think with all that, uh, our next show is going to be not the first Monday, but the second Monday of November. Um, so definitely rock with us. Um, and all that being said, huh? You say November? I said, that's say like November. I meant December. You know, yeah. like the time is, the time is moving fast. So not the first, uh, Monday of December, but the second. Um, so yeah, with that being said, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, so yeah. We going to show some love right now for our features, Soul Like Soul. Uh, you can follow on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Soul Like Soul. Then show some more love for Keep It PG, YouTube at Nati Piero News, uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Nati Piero, and then Cash App, Dollar Sign. Piero two oh uh two one. Last but not least, testing, testing one to our December 14th uh spit that digital event, um, where we will be recognizing World AIDS Day um and supporting the health and wellness of ourselves as well as our uh immunocompromised family um in supporting uh both testing and awareness uh around HIV and AIDS. So with that, Lions and Tigers and Bears.